Today, in Avamancia, my Minecraft survival world that you can join, I need to go interdimensional, but I want to do it in style. Don't you go anywhere. Hello everyone and welcome back to Avamancia, my Minecraft survival world where you can become a part of it because it's also my patron server. Details on that later on. We are building this Greek city but we've not really got very far yet. We've got the centre area and I've built up some extra little bits since last time I saw you. But before we do anything, I want to go and have a little sneaky peek into the Diamond Patreon community. These guys are building right next to me in the same style. We're having a bit of a manse off with this building, to be honest, seeing who can get it better. Me or the entire Diamond community. Yeah, I think I know who's going to win on this one, but they have made such massive progress. I'm so behind. I've got some proper catching up. Hopefully we can do some of that in today's episode. I love the way they're building this village up on the hill, the way they're transferring from one level to the other really, really works. And you've got some amazing vistas right from the top. We've got the Parthenon building. We've got that village across the water. It is looking absolutely gorgeous. I'm really jealous of this. I need to get working, people. This one's not going to work. But this village here, I love the detail. This is really aspirational. Every little nook and cranny to explore. Little bits of detail with flowers. I love the gold on the walls behind the vines. And everything is getting planned out. Big tree going to be there. This huge stadium for people to come and do performances. I really like what it is they're doing. This part of their Greek town goes right up into the mountains with some gorgeous water features and this reared tower where they're spying on me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back over the top of the mountain. And I think my place isn't looking too bad either. It's just a little bit smaller, lots of work to do, but I think I need to add to that today. So we are back in the market square. This is the center of Avamancia city and I'm gonna be building out from here. But what I need to do is go back to my own base built into the mountain to get the necessary bits and pieces to do some building over, I think, in the southeast corner. This is an area that I've ignored just a little bit, so I think we need to do some building right here. Some more houses, a little bit of greenery, and I think this is exactly what this area needs to start to expand it out. I've gone towards my base a little bit too much, and as a result, I think we need to maybe build out in a few other directions, otherwise it's gonna look wonky. We use exactly the same style, we're using quartz, we're using calcite, and we're gonna texture this up in a way that looks like we've got just a little bit of calcite to take the flatness off of that quartz. If we've got too flat with the quartz, it's just gonna be a big old block of white. And I don't think that's gonna work particularly well. I'm gonna put a floor in of andesite. We're gonna get a nice high level with this first building, I think. Give some detail all the way around it with some leaves. And I think we're turned out really, really quite well. I think it's time to have a little mooch around what I've done. I've put in an extra tree. I did some whilst you weren't watching. Sorry about that. We've got this gable going across. I think we've added something like five extra buildings onto the side. We've kept that little windy pathways going between all those buildings. And it's starting to come together in this direction. I've got some vision for what's going to happen next to these buildings as well as we go down into that huge chasm of water that's pretty close to us. But I reckon we've added nicely onto this corner. I just need to add just a little bit more light. I'm just using a single spruce fence post with a lantern on top of it. And that's gonna light up the inside of this town enough for us to not get too many mobs. Because what I don't want is zombies floating around inside it. I now need to build in this area here. This is where we're gonna do a big old custom tree, but not just any custom tree. This is gonna be our nether portal. I'm really excited to do this. We've not been to the nether yet, which is absolutely ridiculous. So I need to get myself a nether portal right in the middle of the world. And I think this is the perfect spot. If I do it in the roots of a custom tree, I think that'll look quite fancy and possibly in keeping with the Greek theme, this could be the doorway to hell. It will be all pretty on the outside and hell on the inside. Let's get rid of these other two trees first though, cause they are completely in the way. Then we're gonna dig a slight cave it's going to be dug down into the roots which means we need to go down just a little bit in order to make us well a cave underneath the roots of the tree otherwise the tree will just be a little bit too tall and it'll look like a mangrove tree and that's not what we're trying to get let's get in our obsidian and we can start to build this up i'm looking forward to this sit back relax enjoy the music and i think it's time for a little bit of a time lapse
Well, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually genuinely really pleased by the way this has come out. It's even better than it was in my mind's eye. This custom tree, surrounded beautifully with greenery and pathways, with the doorway to hell inside, very much like a tree that you might find in Greek mythology. I quite like the idea of it. We've decorated it up with spruce trapdoors, steps and slabs, and that way we'll be able to make it look more twisted and yet beautiful at the same time. But before we light this thing up, I want to go and say hello to some friends. Come over with me. Welcome to the other version my Minecraft server network, where hundreds of people play Minecraft with friends every day. There are Skyblocks, both competitive and SMP versions. There are mini games like Plank Wars, my own version of Bed Wars, and there are two SMPs, one completely free to play with no whitelist called Quarrycraft, and one patron-only SMP, Avatopia, where Avamancia sits at the heart. If you go to avamance.com, you can find out all about them. It's also the home to lots of other great areas to explore, including the Mate Space and the Hall of Heroes, where I call out amazing people that support the channel. Now, if you want to skip this bit, I completely understand there is a timestamp in the description below that will take you right back to Avamancia. But come and meet these people, it'll only take a couple of minutes. Inside this Hall of Heroes is where all of my patrons live. And each patron level has its own floor. Level 1, Cobblestone. Level 2, Redstone. Level 3, Iron. And Level 4, Diamond. The current top tier of my patrons. And today we are starting on redstone level, probably the most popular patron level there is, because this is the level that gets you access to Avatopia. If you're interested in becoming a patron, the link to patron is in the description below, plus all the information is on avamance.com with all of the perks that you get as a patron. And there are quite a lot. First up today in redstone, Miles Geo. Miles Geo, thank you so, so much for becoming a redstone patron. I really, really appreciate you looking fantastic in your red armor there on top of your redstone blocks. Thank you thank you Dan B man Dan it's brilliant to see you up on that redstone block you're right at the end of this Darth can can my friend because I heard you got a really strong right shoulder thank you so much for getting involved we've also got Elizabeth Hegstad Elizabeth thank you so much for deciding to become a redstone patron I really really appreciate it looking fabulous in that specially fitted red armor there and jewel of my eye absolutely superb to be able to put you here thank you so so much you've been in the comments loads and I really appreciate it thank you for becoming a redstone patron Next up, we are entering my overly optimistic iron level of patronage. You can see there's lots and lots of gaps. So if you fancy coming and joining up, feel free. Or maybe you're a redstone patron already and you fancy up into iron. You can do that because upgrades are allowed. And we have got three brand new iron friends. First off, Trinity Bay. Trin, it is brilliant to get you up there on that iron ore. Thank you so, so much for the support and the massive activity you've got on the server and in the Discord. It is brilliant, brilliant to see you. Thank you so, so much. Homebase Serenity. What a long-standing name you are around this server. I really, really appreciate you being around and thank you so much for becoming an iron patron. A Maverick 245. Thank you for becoming an iron patron. Looking especially dapper in that iron suit there, my friend. The padding is in there, so there's absolutely zero chaffing. Thank you so much all three of you for becoming Iron Patrons. And there is just one more person I want to go and say thank you to, and they're over in the mate space, which lives under the roots of the giant tree, which is the portal to Quarrycraft, my free SMP server. And today we are saying thank you to someone that is really special, going past the blue, past the yellow, and into the green, which is season three. And right next to Rude Brokeman of episode seven, we are gonna place our mate for episode eight, which is Johan Putter. Johan, you are in literally every single comment of every single video, and I really appreciate it. Watching every video is the best way to support me, and Johan, you do it amazingly. Thank you so much. You are episode eight's bestest mate. Now let's get back to Avamance here, because I've got to do something with a flint and steel. Thank you so much, everybody, for that amazing support. While she's been away, I've added a few little bits and pieces to the town. I've tried to surround the tree a little bit more so it's more inclusive in the area. It was stuck out on the side. I've included this little farmhouse with hay bales on the outside, and I'll be decorating around that soon. And also a couple of other little townhouses too on the other side of the tree. It just pulls the entire tree into the town area 
rather than it being just stuck on the side. So we're gonna go through that portal, but I need to tool myself up with just a little bit of gold. The last thing I want is to end up getting done by some piglins. So let's get some gold boots on because they're really the least impacting. I think I'm looking good, but I also do want to be able to fly. So I'm gonna pop on my elytra so as I can float around all over that nether because I've got no idea. I've got other stuff, I've got flint and steel, I've got some gold for trading. I've even got a shulker box to take. So let's get over to that tree. Let's light up this portal. So the idea of this is just to get a little bit of exploration done and to get some resources that I've not got yet that I want to be able to do things for within the Avermancia. So let's get this lit up. I hope we've got a really decent nether spawn. I've got no idea whatsoever what is waiting for us on the other side. With a bit of luck, it's, oh, you know what? This is not too bad. We've got the, we need to go deeper. We've ended up in a warped forest. It could be a lot worse. Could be a lot better it looks like we're up in the air a little bit but first thing we've got to do is match up our portals to make sure our overworld and our nether portal are completely paired so i'm just going to look at this block you can see we've got minus 6 82 minus 16. now to target that up we need to multiply that by eight and pop that on our overworld once we've got it on the overworld we can then make sure that we've got exactly the right number this is not quite right so we need to divide that number by eight move our nether portal so as it is exactly that division which i've done right here we can then destroy this other portal first and once we've got one of those blocks out you can see the portal is destroyed we've not got any link and we can light this portal up we now need to go through it just to make sure that it actually links up with our portal on the other side now it does that's good start that's point one go back through does it link up with the portal as we go back through it again yes it does right those portals are now linked now I've got rid of the other portal, I need to put signs on this portal. Everybody in the Aververse, which is this patron server, needs to make sure that their portals are properly signed. I am no different. So this is the Avatopia portal. Everybody now knows exactly where that goes. That's my portal to use. Just mine. Mine or mine. Okay, so we've got that signed up. That's great. Now we can have a quick look around. We've got the mod area just down there. It's really close to where we are in Amamancia, so it makes sense. So we're going to come across this way. I'm not sure... This was the best spawn, you know, we've got holes and lava all over the place. We could, however, maybe use a little bit of this time to collect up some of this resource. If I can make myself a number of farms in and amongst that area in Aramancia using these blocks, and that would save me coming back and getting loads and loads of resources. It also means I don't have to go back to the resource world, which we're not doing in this episode. That's two Aramancia episodes in a row, we're not going to the resource world. I think I need to get rolling, you know. I wonder whether or not it's time to get flying rather than walking. So I'm grabbing my rockets and I'm just going to lob myself off towards the lava. What have we got around us? So we've got a basalt delta fairly close, not too difficult to get to. It's quite a decent size one. That wolf forest carries on around there. There's the mod area that we saw a little while ago. I'm just going to come into land on top of this nether waste because I wonder whether it might be easier for me to wander once we've got sat here. I need to do a little bit of exploring because I want some new nether resources. I'm going to be using this soul sand for something in a little while. And I have found a bastion remnant. Now, I've got to be honest, this doesn't look like a very big one, but I'm a little bit worried it's already, yeah, already has been looted. So there's not going to be an awful lot in here, I suspect. But that doesn't mean that I can't dig around and get that those were the day's achievement off the back of it. <laughs> okay, it looks like we've got some piglins as well as piglin brutes sat inside there. I don't know if they've locked in there by someone else, but I have, well, basically, it's like shooting pigs in a barrel, isn't it? That's great. I'm just going to keep bashing these until they're all dead because I do want to explore. This guy up there is a little bit out of my way, so I'm going to shoot him basically in the face. That's that sorted. Let's have a bit further of an explore because this feels very, very solid, this Bastion Remnant. It's like it's a solid block. There isn't any interior to it. It's very strange. Let's have a fly. Go out and back again and hopefully, I just caught myself in the roof. Go out and back again. Hopefully we might be able to see what's going on with it. It looks really solid. It's like a solid lump of blackstone. How is that even a thing? With basalt on top. That's quite disappointing, but well, I'll have a bit of a dig around the inside of it just to make absolutely sure. It also means I get some stuff. I got bored. It just doesn't work. So I'm gonna get some of this crimson forest wood as well as some of these other bits and pieces. And again, I can use this to build a farm on the other side, on the overworld, to be able to give myself something to do. And also, I fancy a bit of a trade. 
what you're going to give me, fella. Go on, there's your gold. I'd like to know what it is you're going to give me. Give me something worth it. Give me something worth it. Give me something rare. Go on, give me something really, really rare. What are you giving me? Come on, make sure. Please don't tell me you've just given me leather. Oh, well, let's try again, shall we? There's a lot of evidence of the other players knocking around with bridges and all kinds of things in the nether, but that's not what I'm looking for. What I'm looking for is something a little more scary, and here it is. This is it, the fortress. I want to get myself into a fortress. I'm just going to shoot Piggy first. Always going to take two arrows. That's right, give me a little bit of food too. I need to get myself into this fortress. I need to get some... Um, blaze rods because I want to be able to build myself a potion brewing station I've not really got any yet so let's get myself up here we'll have a bit of a wander around now hopefully it won't be too bad terrible fortress achievement gain there we go we have got a blaze spawner I'm just going to YOLO this Leroy Jenkins it I'm just going to come straight in and bash him I've got some flame protection on my armor so that does actually help we've got a few blaze rods already but I think I'd like some more there's quite a lot of blazes spawning left, right and centre. It's a very busy fortress, this one. So I'm just going to have to keep cracking on with them. They're all over the place. So if I just keep bashing them, hopefully we'll get... If I can get maybe 12 to 15 blaze rods, I'll be really pleased about that. I had to go across a gap there, didn't it? Right, let's bridge this and grab that one. Every single one counts. Lots of little areas that have been blocked off because of... With the skeletons there, you can see with the too high gap. But what I found here, I'm hoping... Yes, it is. And someone has been really kind. Now here, someone's obviously looted this, but they've left some nether wart here, which is absolutely wonderful. Remember, every time, if you collect out from a fortress, make sure you leave a little bit of nether wart in for the next person, just like I am. Otherwise, well, it's really annoying when you come into a nether fortress and there's nothing there. I think we've got another one here as well. Right, this is a good example. This has been completely looted. Whoever this was, you're very naughty. Make sure you leave just a little bit of nether wart in there for other people. I'm going off and getting grumpy. I think we're going to have a go you know, try and get a few more blazes. That guy just tried to creep up behind me then. Did you see that? Um, we just got a smack. There's a lot of blazes here though. Hang on a minute, I'm a lot on fire. Keep your eye on those hearts. There's some blaze rods there just under that. Collect those up as well as the XP as well. Watch that fella trying to creep up behind you. Yeah, him. we know who you are. These blaze balls are just going to get on me. It looks like someone's already started to try and convert this one. That blaze spawner is quite high in the air. I've still not picked up those blaze rods. I need to hurry up. They're going to despawn if I'm not careful. So it's just, I'm just going to fire into them. I know the fire on the arrows isn't a lot of good, but the arrows themselves have got a lot of power. So let's grab all of these blaze rods too. I reckon we've probably got almost as many as we need, but we've still got more blazes coming for us. Put the fires out because I'll only end up walking through them. Oh, well, there's a gas. Let's just shoot it before it shoots me. First shot, you know, like Katniss ever deemed me. You know how it works. More blaze. You know, you can never have too many blazes. I'm just going to... Well, let's just do the corridor. Let's just keep flowing straight through the corridor. Blazes left and right. I think we managed to clear it. I feel like I'm playing, I don't know, some kind of old arcade. Do you see that? He's firing at me. Oh, that's rude. I'm trying to talk to the audience. We just go away. We've managed to get back. I've got all the resources that I needed. And I think it's time to go back through to the overworld and start to maybe make use of some of it. Here we go. I'm back in Avamancia and I feel a lot better about myself now, frankly. And now what I need to do is to try and pull this area into the rest of Avamancia, Greek town. The floor is very different. It looks like a bit that's been bolted on at the side. So I need to change the pathways, change the blocks, make sure we get it all stony so as it works together. I've got the resources. I think it's time for another time lapse. Let's put this thing together.
we've brought the area of our custom tree nether portal into the rest of Abermancy and I think it's worked really well. I've kept a little bit of the grass because this is a nice open area deliberately. It needs a bit of space. All cities need space in them and this is no exception. I think the way we've brought in little bits of pond, little details here and there, but we've kept that grass, we've mixed in that stone, we've got bushes, we've got fence posts with lights all over it. It's come together beautifully. And as a result, I think I'm really quite pleased with the way we finished it off. In this farmhouse, however, I put our next farm. Well, it's a sort of a farm. This is where I'm gonna be collecting all my stuff and I'm gonna be making my potions. No, it's nothing fancy, but at least it's potion making. I've got the necessary stores and I've also bunged a bed in there as well. I think this has been a really successful video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you had, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in the next one and I will see you really, really soon. Bye.